guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for subscribing thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for deciding to watch this video but i know i say i start every video with thanking you guys because i know without you guys i'd just be here talking to myself just me myself and i no matter how much we love the tree are we but just know say i need you guys and i'm grateful to you today we're gonna talk about something that my mom had a huge part in um because this is mostly her personality she's a big saver big big saver <laughs> massive saver I mean, she had no choice because there were three of us when my dad and my dad died. So it was just her alone with the three of us. So I uh, eventually, I took some traits, took this trait from her, I took some tips from her um, as it relates to saving money. And today I'm gonna share some of these tips with you. Mind you, these tips are not necessarily something that my mom does, but just by virtue of her teaching me, you need to save, you need to save, you need to save, I would have discovered these hacks. Um, and so I'm able to share them with you. If you haven't guessed before, today we're gonna talk about 10 money-saving tips slash hacks that you can implement in your life today, regardless of where you are in life, whether you're rich or broke in between, because even if you're rich, you're supposed to wanna save money, right? So without further ado, let's jump right into it for real this time. <laughs> the internet for promo codes listen i only recently just discovered this i'm gonna feel like more tell the whole world about it you can scan the internet for promo codes get a code apply it to whatever you're trying to buy and you get a discount what i mean by scan the internet for promo codes literally go in google type in active promo codes for the website on the date and some websites will actually pop up with active promo codes you can even use a plugin extension like honey.com that you 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 install it on your browser for example your google chrome browser browser so when you're on amazon for example and you've added something to your cart you're ready to check out honey.com literally just pops up with some promo codes if they're active they give them to you you try them in you put them in a the promo code slot and a discount is applied it's like super simple Generally though, you can just use Google and get some promo codes. There are some sites that can tell you some forums that you can scour to find these. Because, listen, you can save 10%, 20%, 30%. Like, it's crazy. Why would you want to give up 5% of your own money to some huge conglomerate? Like, why would you? No matter how good you think you are, no matter how great you think you are with money, you always there's always one habit, there's always at least one habit that you can revise to save some money. When you go out, did you know that your habits actually take, they're so powerful in how you behave when you're out. I'll give you an example. Just the other day, I decided to go to Starbucks to do some work. I don't know if you guys know, but if we're friends on Instagram, you would know that I'm trying to cut off of coffee, right? I'm limiting the, in the coffee intake daily. I go into Starbucks and usually what happens is I order an iced coffee, an iced vanilla latte or something to that effect. It's coffee. I normally just order it. It's very automatic. I go in, get it, go start working. That's it. I was doing that for years. If before it was Starbucks, it was um, Cafe Blue and Cannonball. I was doing it for years. Then last week, I went into Starbucks to get some work done. And you know what I did? Like I was on my phone responding to an email and I ended up walking to the cashier. When I got to the cashier, I said, can I have an iced vanilla latte? I don't know how that happened, but it did. And it's because of habits. You know, once you go into a familiar place, once you go into somewhere that you already have some habits established, you just, you know, get started on what the habit is. So if I were you, I'd re revise these habits. It's the same for when you go out. When you go out to a club, when you go out to, um, to, to, to a bar like TJ Fridays or somewhere, you have your standard thing that you usually order when you go out. For example, you may order gin and tonic with lime. It's very automatic when you say these things. So that's what tends to happen. Before you know it, your bill comes and it's a huge 15 grand bill for the rich people. It's a huge 15 grand bill that you weren't, um, you weren't prepared for. And it's because of habits. You need to revise your habits. Are you the type of person to go shopping when you're sad? Are you the type to go shopping when you're upset? Are you the type to go shopping when your man broke up? Like, what? look to your habits. It's not necessarily a good habit, so it's worth changing anyway. 
listen to me you need to go through your um your settings or whatever it's called i can't remember right now i'm not very tech savvy as it comes to this iphone thing but or your android go to where you can see your apps and scour what you have there because there's a good possibility that you have apps that you're paying for every single month like clockwork because they charge your credit card and you're not using them or even if you're using them you can do without them so you need to go back through your monthly subscriptions and you need to cancel what you're not using cancel what you can do without and just try to save some money listen if you're single i completely get it i completely understand i was single for like a bit and i used to order out all the time worse when i was depressed i went through a period of depression i used to just order food day in day out breakfast lunch and dinner there was a time when the restaurant would know me by name they would know what i'd be ordering then i'd have a specific bearer it gets that bad so you need to just cook at home this thing can add up if you're spending a thousand dollars on food um for one meal plus delivery at home you can literally get that meal for that same amount of money you can get four different meals out of that same amount of money and i'm telling you i'm talking from experience i'm talking to you as somebody who went through that all go to the supermarket get some groceries and cook at home as a matter of fact these restaurants put whole heap of things in their a, a food and have a good fuel kill you after you get hypertension diabetes everything under the sun you can treat your body like a temple that it is the next thing is as it relates to this category is as it relates to your grocery shopping some things you have no business buying in a supermarket because it's just so expensive so much more expensive than it needs to be and my mother played a huge role in this in how i how i think no you can go to the market to get produce you will get it a lot cheaper at the market if you go to the market to get produce if you're afraid of coronation market, there's a market um, in New Kingston across the road from Pegasus behind Sweetwood Jerk Center. The lady who sells in there, I think there's at least one lady who sells in there. She's a coronation vendor. She just sells there on, a, on, on certain days. She sells in New Kingston on certain days. So you're getting the same produce for more or less the same price. Go to the market, get produce. It's fresher anyway. In terms of meat, go visit a meat shop. Don't, you don't need to buy meat in a supermarket because think about it this way the meat you're buying in a supermarket it's provided by a, like a, a butcher or it, depending on the type of meat you're buying it's provided by a butcher the butcher would sell this meat to the supermarket at that price already has a markup the supermarket has to sell it to you and they have to also make a money so that has a markup too you're paying two different types of markup when you buy meat in the grow in the supermarket when you could just go straight to the butcher pay one markup your meat is usually a lot cheaper you can choose your cuts of meat your food tastes better your food fresh your meat fresh everything just better when you cook for yourself and you buy groceries in this manner you want to talk about water you don't even have to be buying water in the supermarket you don't have to be buying water in price mart you spend so much money on bottled water in these places when you could simply just buy a five gallon bottle and go to a water shop you pay three hundred dollars for five gallons of water are you listening to me you spend let me tell you you spend you spend $150 on 1.5 liter. This bottle right here, $150 for that water. When you could get for literally another 150, you could get a whole five gallons worth of water. Go visit a water shop. Even things like coffee. You don't need to buy coffee. Um, you don't need to buy coffee in a Starbucks or a Cannonball or a Cafe Blue. The only time I allow myself to go there consciously is when you know it's a family engagement or i'm going out with my friends or my family we're having brunch or something but you don't need to stop at these places before work to get coffee you don't need to go to these places to get a pick me up if you have a keurig machine you don't have to use the ready-made k-pods you can buy the reusable k-pods on amazon for 11 dollars for four buy the regular brewed coffee um ground coffee in the supermarket or price smart even better price smart for like two thousand dollars and you just keep refilling them do you know how much coffee you get out of that and it tastes better let's talk about your cable package do you know how you can cut an, a good five grand from your cable package 
um, by removing your cable package completely. You don't need to have a cable package because guess what? There's something called a fire stick, an Amazon fire stick, which I think it costs like $70 or $50 on Amazon. All you need is an Amazon account. Once you have an Amazon account and you purchase a fire stick, you can install it. That's what I have. I have two of them at, at home here. I can't tell when last I watched cable, you can get a fire stick. It operates just like a regular TV, um, regular cable package. You have all the channels that you need. You don't have to be paying a cable bill. You don't have to be paying a cable bill at all. Do It's a one-time investment, $50, I think, $49.99 or $50 or $69.99. One of those two figures or three figures. Pay that one time figure, have an Amazon account, set it up, and it operates just like a TV. You can cut that cable package money out of your budget. Next up is credit card interest. Credit cards can be a best friend. I love my credit card. I use my credit card in a manner that I would not recommend anybody else use their credit card because it requires a lot of discipline a crazy amount of discipline and I don't want anybody to go run up their credit card bill and can't pay it and come see it and I do it. So I'm not even telling you what me do with my credit card. But your credit card can be a very good tool and an excellent tool if you know how to use it. One thing that you should avoid is avoid having an amount, a balance beyond the payment date, beyond the due date. Clear the full balance on your personal credit card before the due date so that you can avoid the interest because the, the moment the due date passes that's when interest starts accruing on your account if you want to save some money right now pay your credit card bef balance before the due date fashion you can save money um in terms of fashion you know what i do well i need to change this now because i i gained a lot of weight again like 50 pounds last year so i had to buy a whole heap of big clothes so now if you notice in my videos i wear big clothes back on because that's what i have um but i shop like a minimalist so i don't have a lot of pieces of clothing and that's by choice it's because i want to have better use of my money i don't have a whole heap of clothes i don't intend to have a whole heap of clothes i have i own three pairs of jeans um all three of them too big for me now but I own three pairs of jeans. I have uh, three white button downs. I have a couple black button downs. I have some patterned shirts like these, like this one. You know, just in case I feel fancy. But now I start this YouTube thing. My fear wear a lot of the pattern shirt them come now. Nobody comes in. Mean, I rewear, rewear, rewear thing. I'm gonna have, have a chance to bust you know, on the minimalist design type thing. But all that to say. You don't need a whole heap of clothes. It's one body that you have. The point is shop sensibly. Buy quality pieces. Buy pieces that are timeless so that you can dress them up or you can dress them down. You need to have an entertainment budget before you go out for a night. So for example, you are going out to a restaurant to eat. You're going to a restaurant for dinner. Before getting to the restaurant, I would suggest you do research as to the menu. The menu, nowadays the menus are available online or on Instagram. Look to the menu, look to what I have, and you decide what you're gonna eat from now because usually it of the price beside it, so you can budget the money from before you left your yard. After you budget the money, take out some cash, cash, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cash, take out cash, and carry cash with you. Do not use your card, use your cash. So when the cash is done, the money done. Another thing I recommend is as soon as you open your bill, you close the bill. As soon as you open the bill, you close the bill. You order your meal, pay, clear the bill, pay the bill. That's it. Do not order your meal, order a drink. You sit there talking and then you just order the next thing and you order the next thing and you order the next thing and before you know it, your bill is at 50 grand. No, order your meal, order what you'd like, pay your bill, you can stay there and talk, do whatever you need to do, but don't leave the tab open. Pre-game at home, I'm telling you, this is what I used to do before I stopped drinking alcohol. Pre-game at home. So for let me give you a rough example. Hennessy, Hennessy is $4,000 for the flask, and that's, that's on the cheaper end. It's $4,000 for the flask. Uh, you can buy a full one liter bottle of Hennessy 
for $9,900 from the Richie B liquor store. Buy a bottle of Hennessy, keep it at home, you have a drink or two before you leave your house. So you're already buzzed, you're already hyper, you're already ready to go. So what happens is that when you go out, all you need to order is one drink. You know, if you have to order next drink of Hennessy, you know, you can order one drink of orange juice for all I like here. Because you already have alcohol in your system. You already buzzed. Whereas if you go with a system just dry and boring. So when you reach at a place, you add all four things of Hennessy, four drinks of Hennessy. Before you know it, your bill reached 20, 30 grand. And let me tell you, that's on the lower end. If you are like how I was before I had my awakening, which you need to wake up, honey, if you are like this. You would go to a bar and you just a slap with liquor left, right, and center. You swipe your card for 100 grand because that's your bill. Listen to me. You can't avoid all of that. Just pre-game in your yard. Because the other thing is when you order these drinks from these bars, you want a one little tubes of alcohol again, a beer ice, not a cup. So, pre-game at home, you can make your drink as strong as you like. Obviously not if you're driving. But you can make your own drinks. You can get a buzz already from your yard. And then you go out and you have a good time. If you're a woman or you're a man who um you know you're into grooming learn how to tweeze your own eyebrows learn how to do your own eyebrows learn how to make your own products for example your products for your face you don't have to be buying these expensive serums usually the homemade natural remedies or the homemade natural products are better for your skin anyway so you need to learn to make your own products learn to take care of yourself these are my 10 money saving tips that you can implement right now no matter where you are in life and i can guarantee that you can see some you can you will see a change in your portfolio you will see a change in your bank account every month from here on if you implement these strategies see you guys in my next video bye